What is intuition and how does it work? Intuition is a Latin term intuere and it means insight that is inner view. This inner view is to be understood in the sense of an immediate holistic sensory perception. This in contrast to a wandering observing or abstracting that is universalized or generalized observing and considering. Intuition is in contrast to the reflection that is to the consciousness based consideration that is examination the ability to insightfully comprehend an entire thing with its limbs in an unconscious subconscious wise in one act as for example the nature of an object a situation a happening or of any facts as also the structure of a connection as well as the imagination to see through and to overlook something intuitive means therefore to make something perceptible through an immediate unconscious subconscious insight perception and processing to recognize the whole thing as a real factor and to allow it to become conscious as an insight with regard to that which is real as an intuition as a conscious factor in the material consciousness therefore internally created intuitions do not consist of ideas that can be carried out but rather they are based on lightning fast factors of cognition such as from behaviors to be performed at the speed of lightning when there is a danger or from cognitions which require very fast deeds and actions and so on and so forth fundamentally however an intuition is not to be equated with the instinct because this is something totally different and is based on an innate natural drive and as a rule is based in the interest of the preservation of the species and self preservation intuition is a term of ambiguousness because it is reflected in the historical meaning of the word such as a unconscious seeing and perception of facts b immediate cognition of the understanding of a state or situation etc c intuitive thinking and processing of the unconscious with the subconscious and d recognition of the difference between good and evil in the thoughts and feelings etc viewed and considered from a scientific perspective it is claimed that intuitive thought flashes and their feelings as well as imaginations cannot be rationally explained purely scientifically because supposedly these are just there without being able to fathom its creation that is its origin itself however that is typical of scientific wisdom which is based on an uncognition of the facts because the whole thing can certainly be explained but for that certain cognizances are necessary which science simply lacks absolute unknowledge prevails in the sciences of psychology psychoanalysis and psychiatry for example with regard to the fact that the human being not only has a subconscious that is a subconsciousness but also has an unconscious that is an unconsciousness which directly precedes the conscious and material consciousness this unconscious can be comparatively understood as a secretary coming before the consciousness which autonomously takes in and sorts incoming impulses and perceptions that is facts 
after which it provides the pre-processing in a corresponding form before the whole is passed on to the conscious of itself material consciousness this unconscious which is not identical with the subconsciousness has the ability to perceive everything lightning fast which arises in and around the human being that the conscious material consciousness is not capable of and namely because it has a slower perceptual speed than the preceding unconscious so therefore it is only possible to the secretary that is the unconscious as a result of its tremendously fast perception capability to perceive all those things and to process them lightning fast which is denied to the conscious material consciousness due to its lower speed of perception therefore the unconscious is able to take in impulses and perceptions with much greater speed and to form thoughts and feelings therefrom and to bring everything into effect that is to manifestation then that which is possible for the effective real and self-conscious consciousness so it comes for example that if a dangerous situation a happening a situation or something else occurs the unconscious reacts much faster and processes everything mentally in a flash and indeed is unascertainable for the real consciousness as this is not possible at this speed for the self-conscious consciousness for this reason very often it happens that feelings arise in some situation which are created by the rapid succession of thoughts of the unconsciousness without these first being created by conscious thoughts as this is usually the case with this it is meant that under normal circumstances feelings are never created first and then thoughts arise from these as is erroneously assumed and claimed but rather that only firstly through conscious thoughts feelings are also created now if feelings seemingly appear first and only thereafter conscious thoughts then this leads back to the fact that the unconscious that is unconsciousness that precedes the real consciousness has performed thought processes in lightning fast sequence through which then real feelings are triggered which in turn are consciously perceived by the real consciousness there are no unconscious feelings but only those which are also perceived consciously and in this process which happens in a flash the conscious that is real consciousness does not perceive the thought process of the unconscious preceding it which then in uncognizance of the facts leads to the assumption that feelings would appear first and only thereafter would thoughts come forth viewed and considered in the consciousness based sense an action gain comes forth from the intuition which leads back to many factors of the unconscious world of thoughts with the process of the intuition an immediate and very fast reaction originates with regard to a case deed action situation or to a happening or a problem and so forth as well with respect to a thought feeling based or psyche based or physical process this for example also if due to some circumstance the human being falls into a deep dread or anxiety and through the reaction his or her unconscious that is unconsciousness 
the corresponding feelings are built which then penetrate into the consciousness through which he or she then so to speak is therein fully absorbed in his or her thoughts and feelings in this case he or she is then virtually his or her anxiety and actions or his or her dread as well as his or her thoughts and feelings herself or himself it often also intuitively comes about that suddenly the right knowledge penetrates into the consciousness as well as how to rightly act in a case situation or during some happening through an intuition can something a thing an issue a situation a happening an assessment a thought feeling impulsation or a mode of behavior and so forth be rightly appraised in a flash in this case intuition is usually understood as a flash thought which is based on processes of the unconscious that is the unconsciousness which comes before the real consciousness and comes about without conscious reflection that is without previous consideration and this factor is called unconscious or unconsciousness because its existence is not influenceable by the self conscious consciousness simply because its activity is also not perceived with regard to the coming about and the origin of intuition the whole thing can be explained very well in accordance with the creation energy teaching and in a simple and understandable way an intuition in the form that flash thoughts with flash cognitions and so forth appear has a particular developmental process which the human being that is his or her self conscious real consciousness however does not become conscious of the whole of the occurrence of an intuition is based therein that the unconsciousness which comes before the human conscious consciousness which must not be equated with the subconsciousness works autonomously this means that when through the unconscious instantaneous perceptions are made then the unconscious in a way that is imperceptible for the human being connects communicatingly with the deeper leveled subconsciousness and works together with it through this cooperation of the unconscious with the deeper subconsciousness everything is processed and clarified in extremely quick succession and indeed because everything must happen immensely fast which cannot be consciously perceived nor clarified by the consciousness such as example is the case with a sudden problem a scare or otherwise with a suddenly appearing happening or a situation thus the unconscious that is the unconsciousness which comes before the actual consciousness works autonomously together with the subconsciousness and in an unconscious and imperceptible wise for the human being thereby the unconscious creates solutions with the stored knowledge impulses of the subconsciousness and brings results which are perceived as intuitive first thoughts as well as flash thoughts imaginations or feelings that is as intuition of various form which however do not occur through consciously controlled thought processes but rather only intuitively deeds and actions that proceed therefrom are referred to by the human being also as instinct based to that point it is taught in the creation energy teaching that the human being then flows 
into himself or herself and this especially because in this state his or her unconsciousness is very active and works in great speed and stands in constant connection with the subconsciousness as a result of which the intuitive is built up and comes about in doing so from the subconsciousness also flows value stored from time immemorial from out of the subconsciousness itself as well as from its memory banks into the unconscious which then processes everything in a flash and transports it through feelings and intuition into the conscious real consciousness the result is then simply the intuition which if it is created through the cooperation of the unconscious and the subconsciousness penetrates in a fully conscious wise as flash thoughts that is as intuition into the consciousness intuitive capabilities can be furthered through constant training and namely by furthering the conscious real consciousness through all sorts of mental quickness exercises in such a wise that the thought speed is furthered fact is that the faster the human being can organize care for and carry out his or her conscious thoughts and feelings the more capable is he or she to think faster and faster to control everything and also to organize it in a logical sequence and to handle it the whole thing enhances the capability of the conscious consciousness in this respect that it becomes faster and faster in the perception and processing capability which in turn leads to the effect that also the preceding secretory that is the unconscious or the unconsciousness becomes faster concerning the perception and processing because in this respect it always has to be superior in speed to the real consciousness such exercises of quick thinking quick assessing and quick acting are an effective training through which also the intuitive capabilities as well as the activity of the brain are furthered and also an alert conscious consciousness activity takes place this is a form of development which means that by this so to speak also a state of a higher consciousness can be won if a high level is reached then there through also the intuition can be directed to a certain extent and indeed in the wise that the acquired life knowledge is thought feeling based spoken to and perceived and registered by the unconscious in order to couple it together with the subconsciousness and to use it if this happens namely that the unconscious gets in connection with the subconscious that is the subconsciousness then as a result logical aspects are formed from its entire knowledge and from impulses out of the storage banks after which the whole is expressed then as an intuition of course it is blazing nonsense if for example it is claimed by esoterics that through the whole thing it can be seamlessly passed over into a so called channeling that is in consciously brought about contacts with spiritual beings or with extraterrestrials because neither a channeling in any such kind and wise is possible nor contacts with so called spiritual that is spirit beings such drivel corresponds to an imagination that is a delusion from which simply human beings of delusional esoteric occult religious and sectarian form 
are befallen because in this respect they are not capable of rational thoughts and feelings due to a delusion belief or have lost this ability through suggestive sectarian insinuations through laziness or neglect in colloquial speech and in literature various synonyms are used for intuition such as first thought flash thought gut feeling instinct serendipity sixth sense inspiration a good nose and brain wave etc although several of these names are completely wrong such as inspiration sixth sense a good nose and serendipity which fundamentally are to be expressed with other values